Page Punk Corp says, how do you feel about the Unabomber dying? Everybody likes to meme about the Unabomber, but um, the Unabomber was a pretty reactionary guy in a lot of ways. Um, I am very ambivalent about the death of the Unabomber. Um, the Unabomber certainly had some valid critiques uh, of... Um, and prims are in despair. It's funny because he wasn't even an and prim. That's the thing. He actually didn't like, uh, he, he didn't like and prims, which is the, the weird thing that so many and prims like him. I don't know, but, um, there was, uh, uh, there was, okay. So let's do, I guess we're doing the, uh, un, the weird Ted Kaczynski talk. Uh, uh, Ted Kaczynski was a very strange guy. Um, some of the things he said were very understandable. Like, I mean, for example, when he was talking about, uh, like, I mean, he, the dude tried to escape into the woods and live in a cabin so that he could get away from, basically so he could get away from noise, um, which is something that I really, really understand. I, I talked to you guys recently about... Uh, my experience going camping recently, which I haven't been camping in a long time, and how much I had, com I had like literally, I l had lost a frame of reference for um, just how quiet it could be outside of the city. I've been living in a big city for a couple of years, for like three plus years now, and in that time, I have basically completely forgotten how quiet it can be and also but but that doesn't mean it's not stressing me out I just like when I went out just into the woods to get away from the noise um it was stark like how much less stressed I was immediately and of course we all well I should say we all but most people are relatively aware of the um the statistics uh on road noise uh, and noise pollution on your health that um, it's like shocking that people who live in cities uh, near road noise have a significantly higher rate of uh, anxiety, depression, heart rate, stress, all of these things. Um, so what I'm trying to say is um, I can imagine someone being driven completely insane by the noise of civilization, quote unquote. Um, and, uh, like, I mean, there was a point, I can't remember where it was and what of his, what, what of his stuff that he wrote, where he talked about, like, being unable to escape the sound of airplanes. Uh, I, my entire area, the entire, like, Seattle area is bombarded by airplane noise constantly. And, uh, I live in relative proximity to an airport. Uh, so I am bombarded by airplane noise literally every hour of the day you guys even sometimes can hear it in the background of the stream it will drive you absolutely crazy um and we all acknowledge that like oh yeah you know as you know air, being able to have airplanes is awesome being able to have motor vehicles is a pretty cool thing um but we don't often talk about the 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 fact that basically every single human uh, on most of the planet earth with very few exceptions uh, is perpetually bombarded by the sound, the actual physical sounds of uh, of of heavy machinery just bombarding their skulls all day, and some people really can't deal with that. Um, and I don't think basically anybody can deal with it particularly well, but some people really, really, really can't deal with it. Um, so I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, uh, and of course there's all the other things that you could talk about. So while, while Ted Kaczynski certainly commented on some interesting things, the guy was, all, <laughs> the guy was also extremely, extremely racist, anti-Semitic, uh, anti-leftist, uh, reactionary. Um, and, uh, yeah, so my feelings about his death is uh, ambivalence. I am not one of those edgy posters who's like, rest in peace, Uncle Ted. Um, yeah, I'm not like, uh, and also, okay, so there's another thing. He was called the Unabomber um, because 
uh, because he he bombed universities. He sent bombs in the mail to universities, um, which uh, I was just about to talk about that. Nuclear Gandhi says killing ordinary people certainly wasn't a very saintly thing. Well, you have to remember that uh, Ted Kaczynski was literally experimented on by, uh, I think it was, which university? Was it Yale that he went to or was it Harvard? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on which one it was. Um, it was, uh, was it Harvard, right? Hold on. Yeah, Harvard. When he was at Harvard University, he was experimented on, like, unironically. Uh, he was... Uh, so you can kind of understand um, why he had anger towards the university system uh, and the government generally. Um, not that he went around it. The, obviously, he didn't go around it the right way. Um, <laughs> he targeted a bunch of people who didn't do anything to him directly. Um, but, like, you can imagine that somebody who is being driven insane by modern society uh, uh, s s and then also was was actively human experimented on by the college that he went to, one of the most prestigious universities uh, in the world, uh, might end up having a lot of hatred towards the university system. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the A was for, for airlines or airplanes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, which that's what I was just talking about. He had an anger towards the fact that, that he could never escape airplane noise. Um, yeah, so I don't I don't have any love for the Unabomber uh, or much of his writings. I don't find his writings amazingly uh, profound. Uh, I, I do think that there is uh, I do think that some of the things that he said about his personal experiences with uh, uh, w with like modern society, uh, are interesting. That part is interesting because I, I find it interesting when someone is tortured by our current state of affairs, by what, what is accepted as normal to that degree, because I feel like a lot more people actually are, um, but only a handful, uh, of people actually get pushed to that level of, ex of, of extreme behavior and it makes you wonder, you know, what what is it that pushes people across that line? Uh, and do they, uh, uh, is their anger at certain aspects of society justified? Like, I mean, you're born into a world that drives you crazy. You're born into a world where you have basically no say on anything. If you happen to be born into a world where airplane noise is foist upon you constantly and it destroys your mental state because it's a combustion engine blasting sound over neighborhoods and neighborhoods and neighborhoods and forests. Um, yeah, I think you can understand where some of that anger comes from. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god, no! Rip Unabomber, you would have loved Funko Pops! Oh god! Oh my god! Oh no! That's, that's in insane. Bombing innocence, hot take, bombing innocence is, is an unhealthy coping mechanism. Yeah! Imagine that! Point is, most mentally ill people don't go bombing places. Well, yeah, but um, most mentally ill people uh, uh, basically get pounded into line by the system as it is. Most mentally ill, Ill people uh, just end up kind of uh, finding a way to survive the unjust shit that's being put on them. Um, yeah. It's a, it's a weird thing. Also, Timothy McVeigh is, like, infinitely more insane than Ted Kaczynski. Like, uh, Timothy Mc... People compare them because they both did bombings. But you guys need to understand, Timothy McVeigh... Um, Timothy McVeigh 
was a like deranged neo-Nazi like who was obsessed with the idea that a race war would happen where you would where it would become basically illegal to just kill anybody who wasn't of your race. Yeah, uh Timothy McVeigh McVeigh was the Oklahoma City bomber. Um Oh yeah, everybody's been posting this uh this like liminal space uh picture of his uh FBI of his his cabin in FBI storage, which is a wild picture to see. Yeah, look at that. By the way, if you are here, I forgot to ask for likes. I need to do better about that because um, my videos are getting a ton of attention, but they need more likes. We're not getting as much likes as we should. Uh, so make sure that you press like on the stream. You guys have no idea just how much it helps. The other day, uh, I was watching a... Um, I was... I was. We had a premiere going, yeah? And... Uh, uh, during the premiere, um, I asked for likes and we got like 30 likes and 60 more people came in just from getting like 30 likes, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. Anyway.